been some time since I've viewed, I've left the agency so I don't have access to the interview. I haven't watched the actual interview. Um, I can only refer to my notes in my letter. Uh, but you do have some notes in your letter about your I interview do. with Ms. Taylor, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, based on what your conversation with Ms. Taylor was, Mr. Wilson was a suspect, right? I don't. I can't necessarily say he was a suspect, but he wasn't ruled out as a suspect. And she had indicated that he was going to move out the day before, right? Your Honor, my we approach sustained. Thank you, Judge. <coughs> You and Tanya spoke about Daryl quite a bit in her interview, right? I believe so, yes. I don't believe so. I didn't make note that I did, but I don't have the warrant in front of me. Okay. I believe I just executed the warrant. And what do you mean when you say you executed a warrant? Um, I would have signed off that we were actually performing that warrant at that time. There's a few steps to a search warrant. Um, the person who actually writes the warrant would present it to a judge, and they would also sign off with the judge. Um, and then at a later point when the warrant is actually executed or performed, whatever we're trying to do with the warrant, the person who's responsible for executing it would sign off on it. And so you physically went down to University of Louisville Hospital, right? Yes, myself and Detective Yolanda Baker. Um, and that was for the purpose of executing this warrant for the forensic evaluation? Yes, to allow Nurse Deidre Sanders to perform the evaluation. Okay. And there was a few things you were, um, you broadly as a team were looking for um, evidence of, right? Um, I guess opinion, medical opinion of the injuries to Mr. Wilson, yes. Okay, and that was specifically uh, the range and path of the gunshot wound, right? Correct. And that was also specifically whether he had any injuries um, that could indis indicate a struggle, right? Yes. And you did collect a um, buccal or, bu or buccal swab from Mr. Wilson, right? Yes, I did. Well, the nurse did, and I took But you were there. Yes, that's okay. correct. And that's in part because um, at this time in the investigation, you weren't sure whether Mr. Wilson was a suspect, right? That's correct, and uh, you never know when DNA information might be important to a case when you learn more information down the road about the case. Okay, so you had collected this DNA sample or this buccal swab uh, for the purposes of potentially testing that for DNA down the line. Correct. Okay. Uh, that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you, McClough. Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. How are you, Detective? Good. How are you, sir? All right. Um, now, when you were interviewing, you, you interviewed uh, Tanya. Tanya. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, Tanya Taylor. Yes, twice. Okay, and do you remember, without recalling what, what she said, I'm not saying what she said to you, do you remember uh, what was her 
uh, relationship with with Dr. King? I believe she was a friend. Then would you say? Uh, I mean, did any other friend step forward that you know of? Not that I know of. Would she be her best friend? I didn't get enough information to determine if it's her best friend. She seemed very concerned about her. Okay, she knew a lot about her. Uh, yes, yes, she spoke to her on the phone. Okay, and uh, you know she's expecting her phone call that day, that type of stuff. Yes. Okay, would you be surprised if she wasn't called for trial? She wasn't being brought in here for trial. Your Honor, may we approach? You may.